Hello everyone, this is Robert Craven. I'm the founder of Scale Passion. I'm here today with your weekly challenge. Uh, today's challenge is all about getting to know your best customers in a deeper way. You may think you know your customers, but I'm here to tell you you probably don't. Uh, I could tell you a quick story about a, a customer I had in Chicago, Illinois, uh, when I was the CEO of a dietary supplement company. And I went in there and faced uh, the, the patriarch, really, and his son. Uh, and it was all about price to this family. Uh, I started talking about value. I started talking about being number one in the market. I started talking about having you know three categories as number one and two or three SKUs that were producing significant revenue, et cetera. And none of that mattered. Uh, and what I, what I was able to do is step back and ask them more questions about their customers. And it turns out when I walked through their store, there were signs everywhere, deep discounts, 20% off. They catered to a customer that was looking for price. So I stepped back. I said, tell me more about your customer. And, you know, they didn't warm up to me very easily. Uh, but they started talking a little bit about their customer, and it was all about price. So even though we had a premium product, to them it was all about price. So what we ended up doing, uh, by me asking lots and lots of questions about what, what, it, what made them tick, what we ended up doing was basically giving them a price discount. But in exchange for that, uh, we would not send reps in the store, and they had to agree to take every single new item, and we would only do business with them by phone. And then I told them I would come out as, as often as they wanted to see me personally to help them. They were a nice large account. So anyway, we were able to strike a deal where it was a win-win. We gave them the price they wanted, but at the same time, we didn't, you know, we didn't have to serve them like we would our customers that didn't, you know, didn't operate on price. So it was an excellent dialogue, and you may have done that, but let me let me give you a few practical and tactical tips on how to get to know your customer in a in a, in a unique and deeper way. And this applies if you're a nonprofit or a service company or a any type a product company, any type of company. First, perform an 80-20 analysis. If you don't know who your top customers are, do an 80-20 analysis. If you go on the Scale Passion site, you can find a little uh, lesson on how to do an 80-20 analysis. But basically, what that means is find out who the top 20% of your customers are who are doing 80% of the business. Make a short list. Um, that, that top 20% that does 80% uh, of your business is going to be maybe 5, 10, I don't know, depending on your customer base, 20 uh, customers. And if you're a nonprofit, it might be donors, for example. Now, I want you right now to pick up the phone and schedule to go talk to the top-level people at your top customers. When you pick up the phone and call them directly, tell them you want to learn. Promise not to sell them. Tell, you, tell them that you want to learn from them how to about their business and about their baby. You may be really passionate about your baby as a change the world entrepreneur, but in this instance, I want you to talk to them about their baby. Tell them you want to learn. The other thing you want to do is take them out to lunch or dinner. Uh, get them away from the office so there's no distractions. Don't have them come to your office, etc. Another way to do this might be to ask them for a tour of their facility, uh, for example, so that when you get that tour going, uh, you, then you can go to lunch, and, and, and it gives you an opportunity to let them talk about their baby on the tour. It's a wonderful way to break the ice. The other thing you need to do before this customer call is do your homework. Go to their website. Uh, pick out the keywords that they use. Really understand who they are as a customer. If they're a public company, even better. Get their 10K annual report. There's always a letter from the CEO. Find out what that CEO is saying in that letter. Find out what drives them. Uh, ask other people if you know other customers, if you've got other contacts. Find out what drives them and what their motivator is before you go to the lunch. That way you can ask the right questions. Now you got two ears and one mouth. I want you to listen in this call. Ask lots and lots of questions. So here's a list of specific questions you might ask that CEO. What are your biggest priorities? I read your 10K. You mentioned things like this. Tell me more about your biggest priorities. Show that you care about their business. Who are your customers and what are their needs? Uh, they're your customer, but if you can satisfy their customer, now you're adding true value. So tell me about your customer. Tell me about your best vendors. Uh, tell me about your best suppliers. Tell me about the, 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 the competitors in my space who serve you. How are they the best? Um, you don't have to name them specifically, but ask them, what do they do well? Uh, what about the worst vendors that you have? What is it that they do terrible that you hate? I can tell you that I've done a lot of these calls and asked these types of questions and learned little things. Like, you guys put this extra line on the invoice and it drives my accounting department nuts. Well, I went back and checked with our accounting department. We didn't need that line. So we were able to remove that and, and take a customer's level of satisfaction even just up a notch. And it turned out to be a big deal. So other things you might ask later on in the conversation, what can we start doing that we're not doing or what should we stop doing right away? 
Um, and uh, you know these questions are key. Another a good one is you know once you feel more comfortable and you know about their kids and and it might be later in the conversation you could say you know what really hurts you know what what part of your marketplace what part of your company where's the pain in your market where's the pain in your company and if you can get them talking about the pain you've made significant strides and I've done this with several companies and they were able to tell me look you know I, I we had one retailer that was a, a great partner of ours uh, uh, when I was at uh, Dietary Supplement Company uh, as a CEO and they were able to share with us that they're uh, most of the vendors 90% of the vendors that called on them just weren't prepared. They weren't prepared with good data. So we always showed up with good data and good analysis, and it just put us a, a rung above everyone else, and we were able to get some great treatment. Now, you don't sell on this call, okay? You don't sell. Uh, it's all about learning and doing the due diligence. Now, the rest of the story with my retailer in Chicago, we increased our business with them by 50%. They were extremely satisfied. Uh, they weren't a big burden for us because we weren't, you know, uh, you know, you know, we weren't hitting our heads up against the wall, beating our heads up against the wall, trying to get them to do business with us the way we wanted to do business. They did business the way they wanted to do business, and they were just happy. We also implemented the key learnings from that call into our call center. Uh, we actually had a call center that would, uh, we used our database of retailers and actually classified them by type of buyer. So we had buyers that were really price sensitive and we had other buyers that were, we called the zealots, they were the true believers. They really wanted to teach and educate. So we set up scripts in our call center to talk to each one differently. So when the retailer would call in and we knew it was a price buyer, we would offer them the discounts. We would offer them extra case deals, which we knew that they, they really loved. Versus the zealots, we would offer them educational opportunities, and, and our educator is going to be in your area very, very soon. And like I said, you can apply this. This is simple segmentation, and you can learn more about segmentation on Scale Passion side as well. So uh, this is your weekly challenge. Pick up the phone. Call your top two or three customers. Call those top ten if, it, if that's who's doing 80% of your business. Get out. Ask them the questions that I've just outlined for you. I'm Robert Craven, and just know that I am completely committed to helping you scale your passion. Have a great week.